Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope we are well. Today I am going to start my kitchen makeover, kitchen 2.0. This has already been decorated before. Before when I moved in, it looked like this. It's pretty big. Well, that horrible green and I wasn't a big fan of the kitchen units. So I was going for a kind of industrial, cool coffee shop look with the kitchen, with the black cabinets, the metric tiles, with the black grout, you know, the brass sort of knobs. And I wanted to keep it white um, so I could adorn it with like prints and stuff like that. Um, the kitchen is staying the same, but all I am doing is I'm going to I'm gonna give it a lick of paint. White is great and it's airy and it's nice because lots of colours pop against it, but... I've just had an idea that I want to paint it orange. I was inspired by an art print in the local print shop. I said I was inspired. It did motivate me. It inspired me in terms of colours because um, basically orange and blue, got blue, got blue fridge. I'm painting the kitchen orange and I'm going to update some of my kitchen cutlery and mugs and stuff and accessories just to give it a little bit more of a, just a little bit more of a new lease of life, I'd say. Um, I'm going to sort out some of the art prints that are already up. I don't know if I'm going to display them in the kitchen. I have got a few new ones in mind and I'm probably going to rearrange my um, gallery wall. This had some prints on it and I've got my tin signs and stuff. So I'm just going to probably going to move them around as well. Um, this is just a, a paint sample of a Valspar paint that was copying Farrumble, but I haven't gone with that one. I've actually gone with a different paint by Craig and Rose. I've lost my tin of paint. Oh, it's right there. Cadium. And there isn't actually that much wall space apart from the big main wall, because it's all mostly windows in here and cabinets. So that's the plan. First things first is prep. <laughs> I am with this kitchen like it feels so fresh so exciting so warm comforting very very me a new invigorated kitchen and um, I'm all about it I'm so happy I feel so much joy being in here it's amazing how such a simple thing like just painting the walls can make such a big impact and I'm so happy about it I mean I've moved I ended up moving some bits around but it wasn't like a huge expense to actually do the work on the kitchen. Let's just talk through what's been done and then I'm gonna show you some of the new bits that I've bought for the kitchen. So the actual, you know, the actual job of painting it was pretty inexpensive. To be fair, most of this stuff's on a budget. It's quite, it's, 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 it's some bugs, you know, but I have purchased some new stuff for the kitchen. And I've been saying for so long, I really wanna have a declutter of the kitchen and get like some nice new kitchenware and like cookware because some of my cookware is minging because it's so old and I've not looked after it, hands up there. Um, and also like when it comes to serving things and having people over, like I just, I just wanted new nice things to put things in. Anyway, anyway, let's talk about the kitchen first and then we'll go on to, the, we'll go on to that sort of stuff. So uh, obviously I have filled in the holes that were in the wall and I've rehung up these pictures. Now these pictures I put up with command strips. I never thought to use command strips. I was just like, surely not. Surely they can't work. Completely, completely convert now to the command strip. This image here is the image it's, it's probably the reason why I ended up painting the kitchen orange in the first place. I, I, had, to, I had to have it. I had to have the print 
and I had to do the, uh, the, uh, the, the kitchen orange. Granted, it isn't like the orange in the picture, it's more of a terracotta already orange, but this is what this was what sparked the idea. This inspired me. This image up here is perfect for this kitchen. I got this one in Austin and it just works so perfectly in here. And then everything else, I just rearranged it all. Some of the stuff like the clock stayed in the same place. And then what I did was the, some of the other stuff that was up on that wall, like my platform nine and three quarters, Heinz pickle, I've actually just moved to a top of the window. So I got two picture shelves from B&Q, shorter ones, and put them together. And I was slightly worried about the lack of depth, but my boyfriend had a great idea and said, turn them upside down. So I did. And so I have used them to how to, to display some more trinkets of mine um, from my travels and just, they look nice. And they're the, it's the perfect distance from the ceiling to put them on. My dad, bless him, came over and changed the light sockets for me. So I've got this beautiful brass one. He did them so quick. I, I had to turn the fuse box off and hold stuff for him. I was gonna attempt it myself, but then I got scared, so I called him. So they look so much better now that they all match and the brass of them matches the handles on my cabinets which is great and very satisfying. So I repainted my chalkboard wall. So I had a chalkboard wall, which I'd got some like mega, some actual paint to do like menu in the days of the week, but it looked a bit shit, <laughs> not gonna lie. So I sanded the wall down and I repainted it with chalk paint. Now I'm just gonna write on there when I need to without having a permanent like writing on it. So if I don't want any writing on it at all, I can just wipe it off. As we move around that end of the room, I got some lovely new plants. I have a sideboard there. It's just another excuse or another place to throw shit, you know? And that's a bad habit. Make spaces to allow you to just chuck shit on. So I've just put a nice big plant there. I've turned the dog's bed around and I've made like this lovely little pet corner. Got a lovely little, little new mat some lovely new little dog bowls. I've put Diane's little bowl in the bowl because she eats so fast, she needs one of them special ones. I just look so much better. Because I've got the new shelf above the window, which had some stuff that was on the window sill, there was slightly less stuff on the window sill than before, which makes it look less cluttered. But I still wanted to have like bits and bobs. So we've got various different vases with flowers in and dried plants. I love dried plants because they don't die. I have bought a new plant, which I'm gonna to attempt to keep alive. And I'm just gonna use the windowsill for incense and candles for coziness overall. This is the kitchen and I'm so, so chuffed with it. I've reorganized the cupboards and with the new stuff that I'm about to show you, I wanted some of it to be on display and easier accessible. I love a declutter, it's one of my favorite things to do. I mean, they may not say this tidy, but the intention is there. It does feel good when you've had a good clear out. I think one of the reasons why I don't think put things back properly is because they're difficult in the first place to get out and the thought of putting it back properly is another mission. So I feel like just making it easy accessible is you're less likely to mess up your cupboards and stuff. Does that make sense? You know? Anyway, I'm about to show you some of the stuff that I bought for the kitchen from various different shops. First of all, I, I would just like to point out, this is one of my most favorite scents ever and they're little incense cones. So I'm gonna light one of these and we're gonna chat. These, these matches I got for Christmas or birthday one year and they've just been sitting hiding in my upstairs bathroom. Put them down because I was like that fits really nicely in here. I've been to various different shops. We've been to The Range, we've been to B&M, we've been to Tesco, we've been to HomeSense, and it's been great. So this little dish is actually uh, some sort of ramekin that I found in The Range to put my incense cones in for when I'm burning them so the ash doesn't go everywhere. So I can just, oh, just tipped him over. Oh, quickly, I'm, I'm getting, oh, shut up, man. This incense I got in, Austin when I was in Austin, Texas, and I loved it so much that I ended up buying it again from a UK shop where it's obviously been imported because it's so expensive to buy in the UK. But it is, I, fit, I say, if you really like something, never feel, then never feel like you have to justify purchasing it if you really like it and you love it. And I fucking love this incense because it doesn't smell like your typical incense because a lot of incense all smells the same, I feel. This is fir needles, cedarwood, smoky tobacco. And it just, it's so brilliant. I'm, I'm tangenting, I'm, I've just had a coffee, so I'm just like, let's chat about everything. We wanna see the haul, let's do the haul. So let's start with what I bought from Tesco. So I was in Tesco, I was looking at the homeware, just cause I was after new homeware. 
That's why we're here, isn't it? And I got some, I wanted to get some new mugs because I sorted out my mugs. I got rid of a load of mugs that had load of faded designs on or stupid shit on or a slightly chipped or whatever. Like, and I was like, I want grown up mugs. So I bought four of these mugs, which are this lovely like stone effect looking mug. And they're a really good size for a nice big cup of tea. And then I got a slightly smaller mug which um, is my coffee kind of mug. So I don't like a, my coffee to be too big. I can do it with a big cup of tea or a big cup of green tea. Lovely, mint tea, not green tea, that's disgusting. But a little cuff coffee like this is perfect for use with my Nespresso machine and uh, just a general coffee. Beautiful, and I love that it's like got a fluted ribbed look on it. And then like, again, like this stone on the bottom. And then just for lols, me and my boyfriend both got mugs. I was like, oh, let's get an initial mug. Ha, ha, ha. So it can be your mug when you come over. J was in the nice color, but the H was in a, a navy, and I'm not a fan of navy, so I got this one instead. <laughs> she looked at each other like this. <laughs> and then I went to Sainsbury's the other day, and I bought these from the Habitat section. So they are little espresso cups. They're very cute. I don't have any espresso cups. I've got a couple of little bits from B&M. This little dried plant thing to go with all the other dried stuff in here. And it, it's flat on the back, so you can wall mount it. So I'm gonna probably put it up, up there. And the other thing that I got is, you know, for those that love to organize shit, is, yes, these, these things, which I've put my cereal in because I want some vacuum storage for stacking cereal. So I save space in my cupboard. And the shop that I got the most of the stuff from is HomeSense. And we knew that there was a HomeSense in York on the way back. Both were like, should we go HomeSense? Yeah, had a great time. So the first thing, the kitchen disco. And I love that because I, A, I love to have a little kitchen party. I love to boogie in my kitchen. I got some candles. Ofs. Oh my god. So I got this smile sparkle shine. And it is uh, cranberry and nutmeg. This reminds me of like proper nostalgia childhood Christmassy smell. Because it's like obviously that sort of spiciness and sweetness from the cranberry. But also kind of a bit boozy in a way. Like I just remember, you know how Christmas is boozy? And even when you're a kid, you have like a accidental boozy chocolate or there's this punch and mulled wine everywhere and that, I just oh, I immediately get transported back to, I don't know, like the village hall or the church. Just small town, Christmas, my mum's potpourri. <sighs> yeah, oh God, it makes me feel lovely inside. And also it's gold, so it'll look lovely in here. And then I also got two candles that are both eucalyptus, but I couldn't decide which one I wanted. And I'm gonna give one to my boyfriend. Um, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't, mm, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, or maybe I'll just keep both of them. And it's got a lovely green, it's a lovely green color, which will fit lovely in here. And this is, first one is eucalyptus and tea. Oh, it's so clean and gorgeous smelling. And the other one is eucalyptus and citrus. This is very fresh um, and I love eucalyptus scent. It's gorgeous. So we'll see. I think kitchen smells, bathroom smells, I like to be fresh unless it's like time to be jolly. And then I think everything should just smell festive. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you are. The eucalyptus will be perfect for in here for when I've had like a good kitchen clean. It makes it feel homely and fresh and lovely. I got a lovely pack of tea towels. These are gonna be my nice tea towels that I use for drying hands and stuff, not for using with bleach or for gross tasks because nobody wants that. And I've got, I've got old scaggy old tea towels in my utility room for all the, the hard work, the real work. These are just gonna be my pretty tea towels because Look at the colours. I just love how HomeSense has like a mishmash of everything. It's very hard to find the same item like multiple times. And they just have such a wide range of stuff. One of the things that I wanted to um, get and wanted to focus on, and I've, I have previously mentioned this, is like nice serving wear, like nice cookware, nice things to serve things up. But there's a few things I'm next gonna show you. So the first one is this long dish, long boy dish with a fish on it. Is it a fish dish? I don't know, but anything 
that is long. I don't know what I'd put in it, but we'll, we'll find out, won't we? But I thought that, that was so cool. Um, it's kind of giving me Portuguese sort of vibes. I want it to be like a mishmash of different style things. So you feel like you're in kind of like a cantina or like some sort of European restaurant um, where everything is just like eclectic and mishmash, but it all works together. So I don't care that it doesn't match because that's sort of the point, but they don't match, but they sit well together. I got these two little serving friends, which I thought were very good. They're all microwave. They're all dishwasher, microwave, oven proof, all that good stuff. I thought that would be really good for like dips or soup or this one, which is another bowl, casserole dish, pie dish, whatever you want to use it for. And a lovely, this lovely kind of blue works nice. Everything is either like orange or blue because they lo they love each other. They're going to get married, those co colors. And then I got this dish as well. I was thinking of making pies. Again, it's not white, it's got like a speckle on it. See this little speckly job on that. A new pizza tray, because I was lacking and putting the pizza straight on the shelf. Two new mixing bowls, because I only had one mixing bowl, and the other mixing bowls I don't really like, because they're plastic. Some, I think sometimes plastic stuff gives me the ugh. I don't have any vases that aren't clear. Well, this is, tran this is transparent, but it's orange. So when I say clear vases, I mean like all of my vases at the moment are glass, white, clear, white. It's just very retro, isn't it? So this is gonna be the kitchen vase. So if anyone wants to give me flowers or send me anything that goes in a vase, it will be this one if it's going in the kitchen. How cool that is. I love it. And the last thing that I got was picked by the boyfriend and that was this rug. All of the colors go with the kitchen and it is so, so I love it. I love all this sort of style of rug. The rugs in, in, in home sense, you just get stuck into that like it's a i've been sucked in by the rugs i totally forgot about this when i was talking about tesco this they do this range of glasses and i got a few wine glasses like this and i wanted to get some regular drinking glasses but they never have there's only one on this on the um shelf it's been there for ages <laughs> they haven't restocked it i might see if i can buy it online this range i just thought it was so cool my mold wine at christmas time yeah before the sun has completely set Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Everything is linked in the description as much as possible. Hope you enjoyed. There is gonna be more home reno stuff moving forward because I'm making some more changes to the house over the next few months, which I'm very excited about. I'm just very excited to feel fall in love in my house again and have like this new, new like reborn, reborn from the house. So catch, catch y'all soon. soon. Farewell. Farewell.